The global economy continues to recover from the pandemic. We forecast GDP worldwide will expand by almost 6% this year, its fastest pace in five decades. But as we start the second quarter of the year, financial markets are wary of three clear risks. First, the slow pace of vaccinations in Europe is allowing the pandemic to spread again. Europe's poor record in vaccinating its residents has been one of the major surprises of 2021. Failure to secure adequate doses has forced winter lockdowns to be extended until April. We think economic growth in the Eurozone will therefore be slower now. We thus have downgraded our forecasts for GDP growth from 5.5% to 4.5% this year. We still expect a firm rebound in 2021, but slow vaccinations will delay the Eurozone's recovery to the near-term detriment of the Euro. Second, fears of inflation as economies reopen are making financial markets concerned that central banks will start raising interest rates earlier than expected. The 10-year US Treasury yield has surged this year from 0.9% to as high as 1.75%. In the next few months, Treasury yields are likely to remain volatile as inflation rates are set to temporarily rise above central banks' 2% targets on base effects. But high unemployment is still likely to keep overall inflation under control. We thus expect the Federal Reserve and other central banks will not raise interest rates yet for several years. We therefore think 10-year Treasury yields will still be a low at 1.9% in a year's time. Third, investors are concerned that the People's Bank of China may slow China's rebound to reduce the buildup of debt in the economy. We disagree, however, and we see the PBOC keeping interest rates unchanged this year. Inflation is still low in China, and the global outlook is still uncertain owing to fresh waves of the pandemic. In short, Europe's vaccinations, America's inflation fears, and China's debt concerns may keep financial markets volatile in April. But we think strong global growth very dovish central banks and further fiscal stimulus will continue to favour risk assets this year. For more information, please read the latest edition of our monthly investment guide titled Growing Pains. Mm -hmm.